Hello, in this tutorial we'll be discussing how to create multilingual surveys. Uh, the survey manager can accommodate an unlimited number of languages, uh, as well as those languages that justify right to left, such as Arabic, Hebrew, etc. So here we are in our test account, and as you'll see here, I've already created a sample multilingual survey, which we'll go ahead and continue to edit and add questions to in a moment. But first, I want to go and show you a critical uh, first step that you do when you are initially creating your survey. So why don't we uh, just go ahead and create a survey so I can show you this, and I'll just call it Multilingual Demo. I'm going to leave the description box blank. Survey type, you select your modality. Let's say it's an iPad survey or an Android tablet survey. I can, of course, select from any previous survey to clone or from a template, but I'm going to leave those blank. Now, this is the checkbox I wanted to emphasize. This right here must be checked if you intend to add additional languages to this survey. So that first step, please don't forget, that's a critical step that I just wanted to highlight before we continue. Okay, so now let's go back to the list of surveys here in the sidebar. I'm going to go to the edit icon, click edit, and you'll see here I have added two questions to my multilingual survey. Um, my primary language is English, and then I have uh, Spanish or Espanol as my alternate uh, or second language. And you can keep adding languages by selecting the Add Language button. You can delete a language. Um, and you'll see these are green buttons because they are completed. So each of these two questions are also completed in Spanish. If one of these weren't, or both of them were not yet translated, they would have a yellow uh, dot here instead of the green as indicated down here in the legend area. Okay, so I'm going to click finished and I'm back into my primary language uh, survey instrument now, which is English. And let's say I wanted to add a question. I'm going to add a third question here in English. And I have a, a document here in English and here is my survey instrument. I'm just going to copy and paste this into the survey and I'm also going to copy and paste my response options and let's go here now I can paste individually or I can express paste and this is a very nice feature to know about saves you a lot of time uh, when you have a number of options you want to express paste now also if I knew I was going to use these uh, response scales again I could always add them to the library and not have to paste or type. So these libraries are very uh, important features and very good uh, uh, productivity tools to know about. Okay, so I'm going to leave all my options as they are. I'm going to save that question. And now I have a third question in English in my survey. So let's say I'm ready to translate that. Um, I would go to Language Settings button, and you'll see the yellow dot because this question has not yet been translated. So it gives you the primary language. In this case, it's English, but it could have been any language. And below it, the options to include the translation. And I already have a translated document here. Here's my third uh, question text. I'll drop in here, and I'll go ahead and copy and paste my response scale now below each of the corresponding options. And the survey manager doesn't do the translation for you. Uh, we recommend having the translation done uh, professionally and then you can cut and paste as I'm doing now. Uh, or express paste or add these to your library and then you wouldn't have to go through the cut and pasting process that I'm showing you right now. Um, and we have one more option here and totally agree or st strongly agree, and there we have it, save, and now I have all green dots, and I'm finished. So now uh, let's preview this survey, and I'm just doing a virtual preview. You can also download the survey in preview mode uh, to the actual iPad or whichever tablet you, you are using, and let's go ahead and select English. I can go through and take a look at how this survey might appear in English. Uh, or let's just go back. Um, now, how would that look in Spanish? And you can also translate this introduction screen as well. Uh, and now here we are in Spanish. And I can continue through the survey and, and just look at how this survey would um, appear.
appear once I download it to the device. And that's just the preview mode where you are. And now let's go ahead and save and continue into the wizard another step. As you'll see here, there's four steps to find questions, customize, assign to a device, and optional features. Now you'll see select language. So if I wanted to select Spanish and edit my introductory screen, I have a full HTML editor here in which you know, I can expand that full screen or not as the case may be and translate this in Spanish because I've selected that in my language dropdown. If I had 10 languages, you'd have 10 options here. So that is the overview of how you manage your multilingual surveys. Don't forget that first checkbox when you initially create your survey uh, in step one in the wizard. Um, but uh, yeah, that concludes the survey. Thank you, or the demo. Thank you for your time.